And Ebony, Ebony K. Williams is basically a, a lawyer, um, but then at the same time, she I guess she works for the Grio, which is owned by Byron Allen. Byron Allen is basically the billionaire guy that owns the Weather Channel or whatever like that. But anyways, long story short, she was interviewing Ayala Van Zandt, and she was oh. speaking specifically, yeah, she was speaking specifically about um, <laughs> provision, protection, the expectations of men uh, within the community considering that she feels like, or there's a large demographic of women that basically feel like men are not meeting the expectations for women when it comes to partnership or relationships um, and the possibility of then, you know, seeking out marriage and going forward, right? And so she asked Ayanna Van Zandt the question. Ayanna Van Zandt then posed it back to her and said, hey, listen, would you marry or would you talk to a bus driver? And then she kind of gave a disposition and then she paused for a minute and then she asked her again and she said, you know, I'm talking to you. Would you date a bus driver? And she said, if he owned the bus. Right. And obviously that unknowingly sparked this big conversation across the Internet, not only about expectations for women or expectations for what men should be doing, but also when it comes to, um, I guess you can say black people not necessarily meeting expectations in general as far as us settling or the possibility of us not really you know growing past just regular jobs and stuff like that right mm -hmm. so um, i'm not going to necessarily go to anybody in particular but i just kind of want to get y'all thoughts on on just that conversation in general what are y'all thoughts about that well, I think um, for the most part, like where women are in the world today, as far as like what we're doing, as far as building, you know, ourselves up and then starting businesses, you know, this is the the decade of, you know, woman, right? Where mm -hmm. we are trying to show our best and put our best foot forward. And so we kind of, the, the, the fairy tale has always been the same where you want the Prince Charming. And the Prince Charming is never in a position like uh, being a bus driver or being a garbage man or anything like that. Mm. So initially, I think, you know, it's embedded in us to just kind of want something a little bit more glamorous than, than that level of, um, you know, man. Yeah. And that's sad to say. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that level. <laughs> well, let, 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 me, let, me, let me add some, some additional things to it, right? Because Cause I and, really don't feel that way. But when I just said it, it was just like, But you, you know, talked about programming. Yeah, like you've, yeah, been programmed you've been programmed to way. want the best and the, mm -hmm. the best of the best. And in some way that has never been a picture painted as this is the best or this is something that we should aspire to to have let know? me add a layer in there right mm -hmm. i'm gonna play devil's advocate for when y'all having conversations mm -hmm. one of the layers is you can say well when you push for equality the expectation should change right mm -hmm. and then on top of that um there is no real expectations because what does a relationship look like when we now have gay marriage right you have um, equality, common law is so many different factors into that. So when you when you think about that Disney version of what has been programmed versus now what the new expectations are, how can we still have the conversation of what men should be doing when the burden is now on everybody and in, in partnership versus a traditional relationship? I think it's about your expectations around the lifestyle you want. Mm -hmm. And if you're a multimillionaire or like Rihanna didn't care what her partner is bringing to the table because she don't got to. She's a billionaire. So I think that, yes, equality means that you look for the type of partner who can keep up with the lifestyle that you want. Um, and so I w would imagine a bus driver couldn't keep up with the lifestyle she has, which might be the question at the table. Um, I, and partnership to me is equality. Um, and I think that you also have to think about different needs that you might have in a partner. Um, some folks have those expectations. I, I am in, I'm married to a woman and I had this conversation like, 
we were talking about pr provider, protector. Like, what does that look like within a two-woman household, right? Right. Um, and I was like, I just want you to know that, and now it's talking to my wife, and I was like, I am not the protector, <laughs> like, at all. Like, if that is your expectation, like, that is not happening with me. And she was like, okay, so that means if the house is on fire, I got to make sure shit's okay. I was like, yes, because I'm running the fuck out. Like, I'm sorry. That I, like, I'm not, I, yes, I weight train, but I'm not picking shit up. Like, I'm running. I'm scared. I'm a scary bitch. And so, like, that... <laughs> <laughs> so like you just gotta have those conversations about who's playing those roles mm -hmm. i don't mind being the provider so long as my house is taken care of like those are expectations so i think that you just have to have conversations around expectations and be in true partnership mm -hmm. at least that's how my reality looks because i don't necessarily have a traditional relationship well see the thing is with, with that situation you just explain because i seen the shit they was talking about she wouldn't date a bus driver. You know, I ain't saying it can't happen, mm -hmm. and I ain't even saying that it shouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. It probably that might be the best person for her. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, y'all want to play that equality shit only on y'all favor when however it favors you. Mm -hmm have a man that do work as a bus driver you got a fuck enough money mm -hmm. what difference do it make what he <laughs> right. do right you know what i'm saying but that's that equality getting throughout the window shit because yeah. that's not the equality that favors y'all mm -hmm. so it's it's the equality that make you feel like you ain't a man if you ain't doing this and ain't doing that that's that programming that, though but yeah, at the been... same time but in the same breath just cause I'm a woman, I I can I I can do this, I can do that, I can't. Yeah, I ain't gotta do this, I ain't gotta. Do, and at the same time, I'm a girl, I'm not doing that. It's yeah. conditional. You know equality. what I'm saying? That's how y'all operate, though. That's how y'all women operate. That's just how y'all operate. Like you said, and when so it comes you, to paying bills, it's okay. The man can do it, but when it comes to I gotta fix this light bulb, the man can do it. But it's certain things that equality doesn't fall into those categories. Like you said, yeah. it's conditional. And like Jess was saying, I like the fact that you said talk about these conversations early on. What does it mean to uh, have a partnership? Because at the end of the day, she built her career. Ebony built her career up to her standard. So mm -hmm. she seems like she's going to get a decrease in her lifestyle mm -hmm. once that man comes along and doesn't live at the same lifestyle. It'll be competition. Oh, you can't buy this. You can't buy this because I'm the provider. And us women, we usually look at a provider as someone who has more money mm -hmm. than us. So when we see someone who doesn't, we then feel like we're the man and we go into that masculine role. So I think mm -hmm. that's what it is in her case. But I don't like how like Dr. Umar was bringing up race as to re as the reason why she's bringing up this conversation. Cause I think she had a, a white man she was engaged to at one point in time, and he's talking about race has an effect on this and that. But it has it's nothing to do with race. She just set her standard. You can't be mad at her for having that standard. Uh, you don't have to date her. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I see it. But yeah. to each his own. To each so his it own. boiled down to y'all wanting to have as much money as y'all can. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's you know what I'm saying. They, we gotta have all this. I got, I, I gotta get those all I can. <laughs> I didn't wish got my master's, my doctorate, my this, my I'm PhD. A PhD. I'm a PhD, <laughs> nigga. And, and, and I title. still want his shit. I'm gonna yeah. sit back and take his money. And I still want his shit. Yeah, that but, shit crazy. But that's why so many women single today. Hey, cocktails yeah, with the queen, you know. Hair. It's 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 cocktails so many queen. women that's single because um, the men aren't up to the titles but we we gotta do away from that i mean i'm a person who you know I, I love to see what women are doing including myself but i'm never wanting to again be equal to a man mm -hmm. 